Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the second half of November. So November 15th through the 30th, we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. So what do we have? What do we got for Taurus? cards. Four cards. Just angels. You may have some angels around. Universal protection of some sort. What do we have for Taurus? <laughs> of course. Dagger. Fear, worries, tense situations. Candle. You will be shown the way. Desk, pay attention to your work. Vine, seek out information that will help you. So, you're going to be shown the way. Pay attention to your work. You got a lot of fear here. You must be in some sort of tense situation. But there is this interesting that I, I pulled the candle back out for this reading. Um, <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be shown the way. So you will be shown the way. Um, seek out information that will help you investigate. Okay, I see a lot of fear here though. You're probably in a lot of fear. You need to let go of the fear because you're gonna you're gonna be shown the way. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? of cups that's nice the ace of cups is a flood of emotion all right it's a new start in love it's extreme happiness things getting better so it's an abundance of love right there a lot of light Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups looks like the hand is on the cover is on the cup though. So somebody may be withholding their love or, or something like that because the cover is on the cup. But the Queen of Cups is about love. So there is some sort of tender loving care around you. Somebody may be expressing their love towards you. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be whoever this person is. There's feelings, okay? There's feelings here. And you may be very emotional because this is a flood of emotion. You may be in your emotions at the end of November, you know, the last two weeks. Um, I think it's a very delicate time. Three of Pentacles reversed. Now that's lack of harmony, lack of teamwork, lack of respect, uh, not working well with others. Somebody's not communicating. They're not, they may lack respect, you know, not cooperating. Somebody's not cooperating, not listening. A need to listen. Somebody needs to listen. They need to listen to advice. King of Cups. Oh my God. Hmm. King of Cups. So I don't know if there's a third party situation here or what. Because we have the Three of Pent. Something may not be working out. Because this is something not working out. Because there there could be another person. There's a perfect match right here. So there is a, there is a new start in love. There is an opportunity for some sort of, I don't know love connection here but something there's there's the there, there's three there's like something that is uh what's that three's a charm oh uh, no that's not it it's uh three's company it's three's company it's like there's there's not room for three you know so there's there's only room for two so um anyway somebody's going to be getting some sort of tender loving care but it's like the love is coming towards you i believe 
Um, we have somebody that is very much in their feelings. They may not have been communicating, maybe because there was a third party in the way or something like that. King of Cups is a very feeling king. So somebody is, is feeling. And you may be feeling energy with somebody. There's a lot of love here. There is a lot of love here. But that Three of Pentacles is in reverse is lack of harmony with others, not on the same page, you know. So there is somebody that's not on the same page with, with somebody. Um, work, putting in effort. Somebody is going to be putting in effort, whereas they probably weren't putting in effort before. Um, working hard. It's interesting. Maybe it's you because we have this pay attention to your work. Uh, four of Swords reversed. Wheel of Fortune. Positive change. This is good luck. Luck is on your side. So I feel like wherever, wherever, whatever is happening at the end of these two weeks, this is, this is good luck. It's good fortune. This is a change of events, okay? It's a very positive change. This is, I don't know if somebody has been isolated or they've been sick or they've been ill or they've been taking a break or uh, something like that, but they maybe start going through a period of recovery. Maybe the recovery period is over. I don't know. This is like, it could be the end of a recovery period, um, the end of taking a break or something like that. The four, somebody is, is probably very tired as well, and I'm, I know I'm changing it up, but it feels like extremely, extremely tired. So if you're extremely tired, somebody may be trying to take care of you. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not, but this four of swords reverse is exhausted and fed up, perhaps by a third party, I don't know. And third party could be a job. Okay, I don't know what it is because we have a job here. Work. Work may be weighing you down. It may be exhausting you. It may be tiring you out. Maybe you need a break. I don't know. Anyhow, maybe they need to get some sort of sleep. Um, anyway, that Wheel of Fortune is a positive change. It's, it's uh, the end of a cycle. And there's self-love here as well with that Queen of Cups and that Ace of Cups. So you may be really focusing on yourself. Maybe you're focusing on, you know, loving yourself. Um, maybe you're exhausted and fed up with a third party that's not working out with. Maybe you're re dealing with somebody that only the only thing they focus on is their work. You know, all they do is work, 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 you know, and they're not giving you any sort of attention. So you're focusing on yourself. Uh, we definitely have somebody here that is focused on their work, okay, uh, more than anything by the looks of things. But that Ace of Cups is a new start in love. Could be a renewal in love, things getting better, healing, okay. I do feel like you're going to be healing. Um, there could be a healer here with that, with that, or a nurse even with that Queen of Cups or a counselor, somebody that's going to be... Um, if it's not you, there could be somebody that is is uh, taking care of you or something, wanting to take care of you if you'll let them. You may not let them, though, because I see the hand is over the cup. No, I'll take care of myself. Thank you very much. So, anyhow, um, a wheel of fortune, that's positive change, a change of course, moving in a new direction. So, you are moving in a new direction. It's very positive. Um, life is always changing. That's the wheel of life, okay, in constant motion. Um, I don't know if you're going to find yourself at the right place at the right time. You may not be looking for love. You know, maybe you're not looking for love and who knows what's happening. World, world. So that is definitely the end of a cycle. Okay, we get, this is the end of a something prominent in your life, the end of a phase, okay, you, you've completed, something has come full circle, so yeah, I mean, that, that's totally, that's the end, okay, the, the world card is the last card in the deck, which means somebody has completed a journey, they have completed a life lesson, um, it's leaving the past behind, stepping into a whole new world, so you may be, um, you know, this is a major change of some sort, whatever it is. And it's a major ending as well, because these are both endings.
They're both major completions. They're universe cards. So something big is ending in your life. It's a it's a it's a huge ending of some sort. Um, it's it's really leaving the past behind. Um, this is an accomplishment. Okay, moving towards the future. This is success. Okay, this is a successful completion of something. There could also be some public recognition here. Um, you're, whatever's happening, you are completing one one cycle of your life and you are beginning a new one. One that has probably left you exhausted and fed up and tired and isolated and alone and something like that. You know, whatever's happening, I feel like it's obviously over with the Wheel of Fortune in the in the world card. Some of you may be traveling. Maybe you're traveling or you're moving or... Um, you're just ready. It's like you're ready to leave the past behind. That's what that is. The world card is you're ready. You've learned something, okay? Something you have learned has caused your evolution, okay? This is a whole new you, all right? You're becoming a whole new you. Uh, that four of swords reverse gets me, though. There could be... I wonder if there's been some health issues. But I feel like you're... Because it's behind you. I feel like you're leaving some health issues behind you. Um, maybe you're leaving a third party or a job behind you. Maybe it's somebody that you worked with. I don't know. You're leaving some something behind you. You're focusing on the future. It looks really good. Um... There could be a change of residence in the future, okay, with that world card. There could be a change of residence where you are, you're, you're choosing, you're choosing something. You're choosing to step forward. You're choosing to end something, end a cycle. You are ending a cycle. It's a karmic cycle. And I think it starts within you. It starts within love, within self-love, because I think that Queen of Cups is self-love. I feel like you are turning your back, too. It feels like you're taking on this Queen of Cups energy, and you're turning your back on somebody that uh, held you down. This person didn't respect you with that Three of Coins reverse. They didn't respect you. Sorry about that. You're going to be t in total, total balance. Okay? And then there's there's freedom as well. Because oh, we have some cards that fell over. They all fell over outside. So I didn't, I don't know what they are. But anyway, so this is freedom. It's freedom from an, from a, an old cycle. You're free. You're free. Nine of Pentacles reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you. I feel like there is somebody that is watching you. I feel like this person is going to be communicating with you. Uh, they're very, very stubborn. They're about to open up. Um, they may not, you know, there's insecurity here. There's instability. There's lack of self-worth or lack of worth, lack of value. Somebody may not have seen your value. Um, there's definitely some insecurities here. I feel like, uh, I feel like you, you may have an enemy. You may have an enemy that is jealous of you. Um, somebody has held you down in some way. They may, they may see you gaining stability or, or gaining some sort of self-confidence. It's like because there's no shame here. There's no shame. So I feel like you're gaining some sort of self-confidence that you didn't have in the past. So somebody is watching you, is spying. Um, Four of Pentacles reverse. That's opening up. Time to relax. Letting go. Letting go of fear. You must take action. You need to take action. And maybe they it's somebody else. Somebody's going to be taking action. They're going to be saying something or doing something. 
that may make you feel conflicted. This is a message that you may not want to hear. I think you're going to be receiving a message from somebody that, um, I don't know if they didn't see your value in the past or something like that. But you've, it feels like you've moved on. You're no, you're not the same person. You've ended that cycle now. You're not that. It's too late. It's too late. This person waited too long. I feel like as soon as you complete this, whatever it is, your mindset changes. Your mindset changes just like that. I do feel like you're going to be in a tense situation. I do. Um, there's a need for discipline. You're going to need discipline. I think you're going to be put on the spot too. I think you're going to be put on the spot by somebody. And you're going to need to know your value. Remember your value. You remember your worth. I mean, you may, you may be tested. You may be tested to see if you've learned that lesson. You know? So be prepared for that. Um, there could be a fallout with somebody because these fell out together. I do think that you're going to have a fallout with somebody. Um, but you need to remember, this is about self-love At during this time. There's nobody that completes you. You complete you. You complete you. So remember that. I feel like you're going to, you're dealing with an individual that, is having a hard time. It's almost like this person didn't choose you or something like that. Um, they look they look down on you. Somebody looks down on you. There could be some sort of uh, conflict, some sort of, I don't know, they could even send a hurtful message, you know, to bring you down. You know what I mean? So just beware of that. You could be dealing with somebody that is jealous or mean or whatever, mean-spirited that, you know, nasty and just says something mean to bring you down so be prepared for that i do feel like there is somebody that's going to try to put in effort but they look down on you they don't respect you and i think that you need to continue to focus on yourself love yourself uh take care of yourself you may need to slow down during this period Okay, there could be some health issues. You may need to heal. You probably need to heal from something. Maybe you don't need to give, maybe there's, you don't need, you shouldn't be giving your energy to other people right now. I think that you need to refocus. You need to refocus. Maybe you need to focus on your job, focus on your health, focus on your self love during this time. You are completing a major cycle in your life. There's no doubt about it. Your life is changing. You're not the same person that you used to be. And you're not going to be. You are no longer that person. You'll, and you'll never be that person again. You are definitely completing a karmic cycle and you are beginning a new one there is no doubt about it this is a major time of completion for you accomplishment with that world card this is accomplishment this is a success time to take a break time to heal focus on your yourself focus on self-love don't be giving your love away to anybody but you during this time One more card or two or however many it takes. What do we have for Taurus? Four of Cups. Yeah, not interested. You you may be getting an offer from somebody, but I'm not sure you're going to be interested in it. You know? Maybe you're looking for more. Maybe somebody's lost their opportunity. They spent too much time on a third party. A third party situation. You know, could be. We got three here. It's like they've missed an opportunity. It feels like there is somebody here that may want to work something out. I don't know who it is. It feels like somebody is, is, is not. Or maybe they didn't see an opportunity. Maybe they don't want an opportunity. And maybe that's why you're focusing and maybe you're moving somewhere. It feels like we have somebody here that is very, um, well, not interested. This person isn't interested. They're missing an opportunity for love. 
by not putting in effort. Anyhow, we have three fours here. Four, four, four. So four, four, and I saw the four up there. Four, 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 all is well. There's some sort of angel protection here. You may be building a new foundation. Really, really pay attention to your signs. Pay attention to your dreams. You're going to be having a lot of dreams that are going to be revealing things to you at this time. With that Ace of Cups and the four, four, fours, those are about dreams. I feel like you're going to be finding a lot of inner peace. You're going to be gaining inner wisdom. Wisdom, And I feel like there's a lot of invisible forces here that are protecting you. That are trying to guide you. I think you're on the right path and you need to keep going. And don't look back. You may need to protect yourself. You know, you may, you may need to push somebody away. Defend yourself. You're going to be in a really tough position. Okay? So you may need to you may need to say no. You're going to need to stand your ground. You're probably going to be facing some challenges this week. You may be dealing with some gossip, some enemies, some competitors. My advice is don't give up. You're on top. Don't let anybody take you down. So this week is about, or these two weeks, is about self-healing and self-love. Things are going to be getting better for you. I can see that they are. Definitely. Your life is changing and it is headed in the right direction. Absolutely. I don't see you resisting it. I see you going with it. Some of you are... are that world card is freedom. Freedom. So you may be breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Because this is unhealthy. You know. I do feel like it's going to be emotional because of that Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I, I do. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some emotions this week or these two weeks. Because endings aren't easy. Saying goodbye isn't easy. Saying goodbye to old cycles, to old ways, to old patterns isn't going to be easy. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. I do believe you're going to receive communication from somebody, you know, that didn't value you. I don't know who this person is, but you may have to just say no. One more card. It's a missed opportunity for love. Somebody has missed an opportunity for love. They waited. They waited. They didn't see it. They chose not to take it. Tower. Oh my God. I shouldn't have got another card. Tower. That's a shock. That's a shock. It's a surprise. It's a, it's a major upheaval. That's a rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening. They missed, they missed their chance or something like that. That tower is a major life change. It's, it's destruction. Okay. This is light being shed on a false sense of security. Something crumbling really, really, really fast. Somebody's whole world, it feels like their, 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 their whole falseness is about to crumble. Their whole false sense of security, their false foundation.
somebody is going to be shocked. They're sh they're going to be shocked. There's also moving on. Maybe they're shocked that you're moving on, that you're moving. That you're moving on. This is moving to a better place, leaving, taking a new approach, leaving the trouble behind. And I do see you doing that. I see you, I don't know, somebody's moving. They, there's a change of residence here for sure. Somebody is moving. They're moving away. This is this could be very sudden. There could be a sudden change. Somebody may have a sudden change of heart as well. I don't know. This is unstable. So I'm wondering if I wonder what the hell is going on. Unstable. Working hard to bring stability. Somebody may be trying to, you know, keep somebody stable. We have somebody here that is insecure. They're unstable. They're unstable. This is opening up. Anyway, Taurus, I do feel as though you're closing a major chapter, okay? You're closing a major cycle, focusing on the future, leaving the past behind. I do feel like you're, you're going to be telling somebody no, and I don't know who it is. I do feel like there's some unwelcome news coming. Maybe this person's getting unwelcome news. Somebody's going to be getting some bad news. Anyhow, um, be prepared for life to change because we have major life change here. Major disruption. Okay. There could be some pain even with the tower. There could be. There could be some pain. I mean, you could be feeling... You know, I don't know, hot. Somebody could be feeling hot. Somebody's not going to be happy with that Nine of Pentacles reverse. That's not happy. That's not living the good life. It's a fault. There's a false sense of security. There's somebody here that has been living, not living the good life. They've been pretending that everything is okay. And there's about to be a major disruption that changes everything. Could be a fight. Could be an enemy. I don't know. Good luck. <laughs> 